Try it out? Sure, I'm in. I actually feel like I'm going to need the shield here. Fuck you, that didn't hit. Lion ass, lion ass. out of here Ugh. oh I'm throwing the wrong uh, I'm throwing the I'm a fool I believe in a thing called love I keep hitting the wrong button because I had I had it switched on the other one like that. Oh, God. Feeling like a brutality build. It is doing damage, but I am putting myself in harm's way, to be sure. I don't have the money for any of these anyway, so it's a moot point. Fast as fuck, boy. I can't tell if I've not played well today. Well, I know I know what's really happening. I'm taking hyper unnecessary risks. Oh my god! I forgot where my parry was. I'm taking hyper unnecessary risks and trying out new things on what the game refers to as nightmare difficulty and then wondering why I'm not uh, handing the game its ass. I could probably guess why if I had to venture. Ooh, castle outskirts, you say. But that said, I mean, I hope you're still having fun. I, I am genuinely enjoying playing, like, kind of low-key, super brash. I feel like if and when the game pays off for me, that's how it's going to happen. Yeah, I do. I, well, you say that, Xantralac, but the only reason I'm on Boss Cell 4 is because we stumbled upon an accidental game break. We stumbled upon an accidental game break on... Whoops. Ah, I fucked it up. We stumbled on an accidental game break on... Uh, Boss Cell 3, where we were stomping the living shit out of this game but it hadn't really meant anything because I had been getting my ass handed to me the fuck you say how about both of you then knobs um at the very last like literally the last shop before the hand of the king 
we got hyper lucky and got a giant killer as a weapon. We got hyper lucky and got giant killer as a weapon. Fuck that. I'm trying to fight. I'm trying to figure out his timing too. I tried to parry it, but I got waxed instead. Oh no. I lived! Yeah, not just giant killer, but a spectacular giant killer. Like a a a, a specked out beauty of a giant killer. So we we after struggling on boss cells three for weeks walked in with a monster of a giant killer weapon and just vaporized the hand of the king. It's not the same as just kind of like forcing the game to bend to your whim the way classic Isaac would go. But it is close enough to make me feel okay. Thank you, Magnet. I would have missed that. Uh, I would have missed that food for sure. Yeah. Giving the hand of the king the business feels really nice. Sure, why not? We're gonna stick with it for a while. Uh give the old tainted flask a try. We should see a goodly number of elites. Aggressive ghost run was going okay, Oppenbeimer. I, I took a 10 kill challenge. I took a 10, 10 kill curse. Got it down to three. And the only way out was through an elite. And he just had my number. He had my number. Done any scroll hunting yet. I'm not sure what that means. If I'm being real. I don't like that. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Extracting scrolls using that whip. I have not done that yet. I've been too fixated on trying to beat the game. Oh, the, yeah, I, uh, not the whip, the grenade thing from the first level. I have not done that yet. Although, at some point I might want to consider it. Maybe next week. Be two of them. I'm trying to parry. I promise you, I'm not intentionally throwing. I'm just trying trying to stay in those encounters and figure them out. Oh, ho, ho, who's this? can't be too surprised 
it's what's gonna happen when you take run or take risks like that, but and I don't have the skill necessary to back that up. No questions asked. It still doesn't make it sting less when you miscalculate and take a beating. I shouldn't have stayed in there. I'm still like I'm trying I really want to learn parrying. Like like not armadillo pack parrying. But I don't know that that was the way to do it. I actually felt like I kind of had their number for a minute, but then the wheels came off. Oh, fuck me. I need ghosts. Damn. They really went to town. You're never gonna guess what I'm doing. Yo, Pogman, what's going on, brother? Please don't be baddies. Oh boy. Fuck! He's so fast! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chat. I was thinking about the elite and I wasn't thinking about him and I couldn't remember if I had the shield in the right spot. I didn't. I didn't roll the right way. Ugh. <laughs> Fuck. That guy's reach is a lot. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I... Listen. You think you can stop me. You absolutely can't, though. Nobody gonna break my stride. Nobody gonna slow me down. Oh no, oh shit. I am fucking not scared. Oh shit, I'm a little scared. There we go. And away. Acrobata pack works with the cleaver? No shit. I may have to give that a spin. It does feel good to have stuns again. Oh no! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you!
I got beef. Let's go. Oh, Billy. We'll do that. Be a shame to not see this man hit something. What a shame. I liked the castle outskirts. I wanted to see the castle outskirts. Sewers, huh? Hooray! There's really good fishing up there in Kebab. I don't know why we're not fishing up in Kebab right now. Just out of curiosity, is there a reason you don't have a, uh, you don't actually have a YouTube presence? Uh, time? When I was playing Isaac? Oh, shit. When I was playing Isaac, I was having stuff ported over, but the editors were costing me four figures a month. And then I had a guy who was helping me port stuff over. I had two guys who were helping me port stuff over. And one of them ran out of content that was created by the people getting paid four figures a month. And didn't really have any gumption or drive to help me curate or farm more. And then the other one, I was paying an hourly rate to move uh, VODs over of playthroughs of Let's Plays of like Everything from God of War to Witcher 3 to Outer Wilds. And I was paying that person hourly and they, they tapped out. And I just wasn't seeing anything off of it. I could go back to being that obsessive asshole who does his own stuff, but it would mean basically forsaking my wife and kids. I would genuinely just kind of have to like accept that I would never see them again. Ryan, what's going on, man? <laughs> Food review, Tappy era is going to be bussing. I would like that. I think I'm doing uh, Wong's Tacos this weekend, which is that um, Asian-Mexican hybrid place that I ate at with, with uh, mom when she was here. The one where she said, I don't really like the, I don't really like the wonton nachos and the seaweed that's on there, but I love these little seasoned tomatoes. And I was like, mom, that's raw tuna. And she was like, well, shit, you're telling me I like sushi? What else am I going to learn on this trip? You're going to take me to a movie that doesn't have a conclusion? You're going to bring me in here and feed me raw fish and make me think that it's tomatoes? Short answer made long. Time and money is why I don't have a YouTube presence that's tended to daily the way I would want it to. Separate TikTok channels for food and gaming. Fuck, didn't I just say I don't like... <laughs> didn't I just say I don't like social media? Why would I want to add another account? It sounds like a nightmare. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, 
One of these days I may have to sit down and have a, a real heart to heart with myself about what I'm willing to do and what's important to me and what kind of sacrifices I'm willing to make to to, to organically find new audience. Hey, this is Who is this? Raliker! Prime Gaming Sub, 29 months. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate that. But ev everything I've everything I've seen and felt and experienced with social media is that for whatever reason, it does do does not work for me the way that it, it works for other people, and it makes it hard for me to be motivated to do stuff like that. When it feels like the amount of time and effort I'm putting into it is disproportionate to the benefit. YouTube stuff that gets gets consumed as a lot of strat. That, that that's another good point too that El Pablo makes is that a lot of it is like unless you're Northern Lion, you don't really get to just port your YouTube stuff over and have it work. Like that works for some people, but I don't think that works for me. A lot of it is original YouTube content, and it's like, damn man, I stream for seven hours a day, five days a week, and I have a wife and two kids. Like. The only reason I'm making TikTok content is because I just like TikTok food reviews so much. Like, I like the food review scene on TikTok enough to want to be a part of it. But I do not care enough about, like, my top 10 Isaac, which Isaac item is vastly overrated. Like, I don't have it in me to do like tier lists and shit like that. I did years and years of video editing and stuff on YouTube for the first channel I was affiliated with. It's exhausting. Raliker, again, thank you for the resub. Uh, honestly, with YouTube these days, I've been consuming more shorts than anything else. I have to imagine that it requires a ton of editing to pare it down to something consumable. I mean, like, again, this is one of those situations where, um, oh, you frick. I've had good, uh, I've had good experience with like the clips that Austin has pulled down, but I've found that just because I've found that just because I don't put a lot of value on social media that I I do have a tendency to uh, like forget to post, which is really bad. Um, I've found that like when I do post, I, I see like you know, two or three people comment, get like 30 likes or whatever, and then it goes away. What's funny is that I had clips that I put on TikTok that went viral. For example, I had a, a GTA clip that I thought was fucking dynamite, and I put it up on like TikTok. Or I put it up on, yeah, I put it up on TikTok. Uh-oh. I can't, I need to get away. Ghost, kill him, kill him, ghost. Got him. Oh, that was my 60, huh? Crazy. That Grand Theft Auto clip that I put up, uh, I put up on TikTok got like a million views and like a quarter million likes. I put it up on Twitter and got like 30. So I just don't, I don't always understand what in the hell I'm doing and why it's so random. Mr. Puffer, what's going on? Welcome back. 
Foo, uh, Foo content creator I've worked for in the past uh, requires next to no editing. All he does is review places he eats and makes funny noises. I gotta say, now that I'm finding a little bit of a rhythm on the TikTok stuff, that they don't take nearly as long as they used to. Uh, food reviews are a nice niche since you get to try. Yeah, honestly, even if that goes sideways and I hate it, or like it never, it never pays off in the end, I still get to write off financially, uh, write off all these restaurant trips to places I've always wanted to eat at, and call them business expenses, which is pretty fucking cool. Can you post your TikTok food reviews to YouTube Shorts and try to double dip those? I mean, I guess if the if the um, if the YouTube channel is pretty much dormant at this point anyway, uh, what harm could I do? It's just hard because in the past it's like you, you get people who go like, oh yeah, post, you know, post everything, like post all your content in one place, and then uh, you get other people who say like, no, no, you, you know, you. You can't, you're gonna have, if you uh, if you post all your content in one place, then your food review stuff is gonna cannibalize, your Isaac stuff is gonna cannibalize, your Let's Play stuff, you gotta have different, uh, you gotta have different, um, different channels for every, every little thing. And it's just everybody who's got an opinion on it, it, it you know says something different and it, it gives me real uh, analysis paralysis what does cannibalize even mean in this context I think wh what they're saying is is that um, so when I was doing the Isaac stuff when I was paying for the Isaac uploads I was like yo let's just take oh Jesus Let's just take all of my, all of my, uh, let's plays and all of my, you know, let's do what Northern Lion does. Let's take all of my let's plays and let's take all my Isaac content and let's just all put it all in the same place. Oh my God. And they're like, uh, my editor's take was, oh no, you don't want to do that because ultimately if you start posting your four year old let's play of the last of us in a place that's predominantly uh, a, a channel where people want Isaac content, then you're gonna, every time you post a food review, you're gonna alienate Isaac viewers and Let's Play viewers. And every time you post non-Isaac content, you're gonna alienate Isaac viewers. Like, that you're, you ultimately, like, the take was that you ultimately need to be making content for one specific audience. And so all of my Let's Plays are up on one channel and all of my Isaac gameplay is on another and that didn't work. But then again, before that, putting everything in one spot didn't work either. So fucking, I, I just kind of threw my hands up because I got tired of lighting money on fire in a barrel. Lighting money and time on fire in a barrel. Don't you mean X, not Twitter. I will sooner put a glass rod through my pee hole and tap it with a hammer before I'll, rec before I'll, I'll capitulate to Elon Musk. That's the simple answer. <laughs> Unfortunately, when you're like, hey, uh, why don't you have a YouTube channel? <laughs> like, that's the shortest answer I can give. And it just chewed up 45 minutes of stream. Because <laughs> that's the kind of like a, like a analysis paralysis that I have over the whole situation. And it breaks my heart because I really do like the idea. I really do like the idea of having, like, I like having all the components that I feel like uh, a, a professional full-time content creator should have. But I'm I'm also j just on the underside of the cusp. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. I'm just this side of broke, comparatively, where I can't just uh, co-carnage it and have people on staff. Toto, tier one, 66 months. You, uh, you to bomb, yo. Toto, thank you so much. Appreciate you being here. So, anywho. That's... G 
genuinely potentially the shortest way that I can explain why I don't have a better presence on YouTube and socials for that matter. Oh shit, Danny, listen, if you want to talk and like, you would be the third person that I've talked to, but you would be the first person who would entertain the idea of, listen, if it makes money, you can fucking keep it. I don't mind that at all. I, I, I'd like to believe, oh Jesus. I'd like to believe that everybody I've ever worked with has not had a problem with the fact that I want people compensated. I don't want to take anything for free. I don't want to uh, royally screw over anybody who decides to work with me. It's all the way over here. Ugh, sleep now in the fire. But I've never been able to talk to anybody who uh, seemed interested in that plan. Not interested enough to actually do anything. I've had a couple of people that I've talked to about it that, like, in the heat of the moment, sitting with me, uh, you know, having a beer or whatever, that they've been like, yo, this could work, this could be really cool, and then, like, I never hear from them again. But yeah, I've never... I have no, like, I, I had, would, would happily give up whatever, <laughs> I would happily give up whatever meager ad rev it makes just to have the machine work, but I've kind of come to the, come to the conclusion that, uh, it's probably not ever going to exist unless I know life the shit out of it and just make it my obsession. And who knows, maybe, maybe I need to, maybe I should. Maybe as a, as a component of survival, as things get tough and there's less money to be had on Twitch, maybe I won't have any choice but to know life the shit out of it to get those pieces working. But I've done that before. I've worked until I basically felt like I was going insane and it's not fun. But I can do it. But it's not fun, but I can do it. Scanning. Oh man, I almost got hit there. One sec. Well, these ghosts are really giving everybody the fucking business. I think that's it. I'm not gonna... Listen, I know I've been playing a little aggressively, but I don't think I'm gonna go break that thing open for like 600 gold. AdRev pickups big, uh, picks up big. One of the people I work for just hit 30k subs, and I might hit something like 1500 uh, a month uh, just taking a percentage of the ad revenue. <laughs> Goddamn English is hard. Well, listen, Danny, if you ever feel like you got uh, time on your hands and you're looking to pick up work, I'd love to sit in on a call with you. <laughs> I feel like I have good content. I just, uh, made, like, if, if I were, if I were not so, uh, old, old man yells at screen, if I was not so old man yells at screen when it comes to, you know, Premiere and Photoshop, I can get it done, but damn, does it take me forever. If I was more efficient, and had a better system in place, I think I could get a pipeline going pretty well, but I've, I've, I've had my heart broken by people who either took a shitload of money and were like, everybody else I've done this for has got a, ro you know, a, 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 a rolling, bubbling, percolating YouTube career, or people who are like, yeah, we, you know, we'll get it going, and then once it starts churning, I'll, I'll take what comes out of it and they just never do anything it's it's all of it's just kind of put me off so hard it's like um 
God, how do I explain it? I want it so bad that I've had to amputate the part of me that wants it because I keep getting my hopes up and they keep being, uh... My hopes keep being dashed. And that's that stings too much. So I've had to stop, stop feeling hope. Um... Good lord, is it Tuesday already? Tell me about it. Powder! <gasps> uh, toast! <laughs> Equal parts feels like it could be Friday and Monday all over again. Here's talk of needing editor, sits upright, <laughs> remembers he's still depressed and flaccidly just plates back into the couch. I tried, Taffy. No worries. Uh, you know, I don't I don't ever try to... I feel very self-conscious about not having that stuff in hand. It's one of the only places where I, where I definitely feel like I let myself down a little bit. And I hate that. I don't want to feel that. Oh, man. I don't want to feel that way. Yeah, that, oh my god. That's one of the only places where I feel like I, I, I really wish I had it under better control. You're looking for editors? I've, I've been looking for editors since, what year is it? Like, not to be glib, but like... More than anything, um... I just kind of need somebody to hold my hand to to make the pipeline work the way like a Trello board would. And I just have not been able to come up with anybody who's as on board as I would like would like to have. That's all of it in a nutshell. That's all the stuff that I feel like I'm way behind on. That's the stuff that I'm like self-conscious about how far behind I am on it. That I don't have that makes me feel like I'm not taking myself seriously as a broadcaster. But I also don't know how to like... I don't... Okay. I also don't know how to make that stuff happen without going insane. That was a well-timed leg. In the past, I have had editors for Isaac Runs ported over to YouTube. And up until, like, literally yesterday, I had somebody who was doing social media posts for me. But it was on me to do the social media posts, and I just fucking... I forget, because, again, it just doesn't feel... I don't feel like I get a lot out of it, so I, I stress over it and just end up procrastinating and putting it off. Instead of just putting up literally anything every single day. So, I felt like the, um, man, you rat fucks. Goddamn tentacles. Get the fuck out of here, man. Oh! Fucking tentacles gave me the business. There's just so much going on. I couldn't deal with tentacles coming up from underneath, too. God damn. Ah, oh, that's infuriating. <sighs> One of the tricky things with Austin was, too, is that, like, he's a nice guy and a good editor, but he also doesn't know the games or the community. So there'd be a lot of times that like he'd go find a clip with a bunch of views on it in YouTube or in Twitch. Highlight it, but not have any idea why it was viewed. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't know the game, 
and you don't know the source of the humor, then it gets really difficult to to cleanly illustrate why everybody's giggling, you know? And so there was a lot of times where he grabbed clips that I was just like, he would grab clips that I think to myself, like, I don't, why, why? Oh, I can see why this, this was a very specific thing that happened one day and it got, it got some chuckles and all that jazz. But this is not clip worthy. It just has a lot of views because somebody cracked a joke in chat or, or whatever. So. Ah. Those rats did not get frozen by Medusa's head. That's a real buzzkill. Right. There, there, there are that there, there have been a lot of times where yeah, where things have been grabbed and have been clipped in such a way that I, I've had to essentially break it down and give him note by note beats on what should be highlighted when and where and why it's funny in case he wanted to put some sort of glib, you know, office reference or something in there, you know? I'm getting fucking roughed up today, man. Uh, I enjoyed editing so much, but basically 12 hours of Taffy every day and doubling up on content I'd already seen wore me out along uh, with work taking off. Also, good morning. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I hadn't even mentioned that Cletus was the person that, like, uh... Cletus was the person who was helping me port over Let's Plays. And Cletus is, you know, a dedicated member of this community who still at some point was just like, yeah, Taffy's not fucking around. Uh, this is a shitload of content. And <laughs> it, finally, it finally fucking ate him up inside. Well, I mean, that there were other things, but like among other things. Among other things, Cletus was just like, yeah, no, I get it. I'm burnt out too, and I'm not even the guy. So, also, I'm not doing this anymore. And I was like, all right, well, that's that marks the end of Let's Plays for a while. You want, like, a legit application DM? Do you? I just hit me up in Discord whispers. It's not that formal. I mean, like, I'd put something in writing if I were to bring anybody on to do anything. Just because I don't want you to ever feel like I was potentially going to take advantage of you. Uh, or vice versa for that matter, but. I'm always looking for solutions, and, and right now the thing that bums me out is I just don't see a solution that isn't, uh, that isn't Taffy goes insane. Taffy H Howard Hughes it up. Doing his own video editing forever and ever. Like, I've been happy to take help from, like, uh, Stevie and Taz over the years. But they, I mean, they were doing it gratis as community members just for the fun. Just for the shits and giggles of it, which, you know, is nice, but I can't, I can't depend on that because it's not fair to be like, oh, yeah, remember... Remember, you guys said you were going to help me out. Now, don't ask me for money, because that's not part of the deal, but it's hard. It's just hard. It's, it's a hard juggling act to tackle. I guess that's the, that's the long and the short of it. It's not that formal to tap you before someone sends a telegram accompanied by an old-timey trumpeter. I mean, if there's an offer of payments now, I, you know, it'd have to be reasonable because my fucking budget is tight, tighter than it was in year in, in the last couple of years. But if it helped me, if it helped me get the machine functioning the, the way it's supposed to, so I could try to bring in fresh blood to replace the the people that we're losing because they either have a job or they, you know. Um, hate me or 
you know, the people who, who would support, but times are tight. This prick. There we go. I got him. Yeah, I'll hit you up on Discord. We can talk uh, talk it out as well. Have free time. I think I can provide a solution for most of what you're asking. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think, like, even if it's a lot of work, if I could just get the assembly line pulled together so that I could go to my schedule on my phone and have alarms come up to go, hey, right now is when you go post. Like, this is when you go post to social media or, like, this is when, this is the two hours out of the week that you have absolutely budgeted for going to harvest r raw video material for whatever. But it, it all is... Uh, it's like a Hydra. It's like a, you know, social media Hydra between social media and YouTube, where it's just, there's so many heads. And every time I cut one off, I feel like another one sprouts out. And so it, it, uh, it is for sure difficult. I have done nothing but get hit on this run. Ooh, I do love a sinew slicer. Fuck you, infantry grenade. No, fuck you, oil grenade. For real. For real, for real. I'm gonna come eat your fucking lunch, bud. Those things are scary, but if you just give them a wide enough berth, it... It's relatively easy to kick the shit out of them. I don't know that I'd survive this. I kind of want to find, like, some food before I try to tackle this. Oh, shit, he's alive! Of course, that's the one. I hate you! Sorry, Chad, I didn't mean to go all rabbit hole deep dive on that kind of stuff, but I got I got asked. And I do love talking shop, especially when it's um, something that I'm actually legitimately hung up on, you know? But yeah, the, the, the exact question that Danny asked is a is a question that I've genuinely struggled with because I, I I feel like I'm supposed to have those things. And the only reason that I don't is because I want to have a life outside of my office. But that doesn't it sucks, but that doesn't feel like a good enough reason to not have those things. Hate that. I hate that so much. Oh, man! I didn't mean to give myself a haircut there. Ow! As fun as it is, is it enough to have 
just two familiars walking around slapping things? Or is the sinew slicer... I'm going to go for it. Whatever. It's probably going to be the last run of the day for dead cells. Might as well have fun with it. I still don't think I got 30 on this floor. I think I got roughed up too much. I was not able to make the the war the war spear work for me. I think this was a, a castle outskirts run, was it not? Ooh, building. Color me interested. It's rough. Oh. Running low on money, too. Uh, I'm determined to stay alive long enough to see Tainted Flask pay off in some meaningful way. I'm excited about the prospect of a hamburger. I thought I'd say this, but I need more enemies. I need them clustered together. Get the fuck out of here. I was sitting there tapping Y trying to get the um, Medusa head to go. All right, well, okay. What did I learn there? I'll tell you what I learned there. It is dangerous to have familiars who are wandering around swatting every enemy within a screen and a half one time, drawing aggro and then having them teleport to you. That was not my favorite. 